Hey guys, welcome back to Red Vision channel. My name is Sifa. So today, this is a highly requested video. I know we don't have a lot of content on our post yet. However, though, we do communicate with our followers as well as other co-creatives. So we know other photographers and people who are in the business as us. And one of the questions we get quite a bit is what gears do you guys use? Uh, what gears do you take on each shoot? and what gear is necessary for what type of shoot. So today, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over a quick review with you guys today. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, so welcome back. All right, so let's hey, jump right into it. We'll start it. with cameras, lenses, uh, kind of go with uh, lighting, as well as gimbals and other mini uh, uh, miscellaneous uh, things as well. So uh, we'll start with the camera. I did a video not too long ago on some of the gear we use when I was talking about it behind the scenes. So some of those would be similar as well as some of the gears, our main heavy hitters that we use within the company are currently being used uh, by Joel who is doing a commercial shoot right now. Uh, so those will not be on this table. However, though, I will go over all the things I have here. Um, now, of course, we'll start with the big guys. Oh, let's start with the little guys. Um, one camera we always stick with us though is the Canon T5i. Now this camera is a very basic camera. This is part of the Canon Rebel series. This is kind of like a B-roll, not B-roll, but behind the scenes camera. Uh, we use it to capture footage of us working and also pair with the right lens. We do use it for a detailed shot because this is a crop sensor camera. So if we need an extra punch, for zooming, uh, we put a four frame lens on here. And then of course, with the crop factor of a crop sensor, it will kind of extend the zo the range of that lens. So we do use it a little bit here and there. Uh, not too much though, it's usually just in the camera bag, just for backup or just in case we need it for any kind of miscellaneous work. Uh, another camera here is the Canon. Now all of our cameras are Canon and uh, Panasonic. So this is the Canon uh, 70, the EOS 70D great video camera to capture some uh, video footage. This can be used as our B camera on some shoots that are not too task heavy or not that big of a budget. We do use this as well. Uh, this is, I think, a 24 megapixel uh, Canon camera with, I think, 50 points of uh, autofocus. This has great autofocus on here as well. So um, single, single slot for uh, SD card. Uh, not like the other lines where we have dual slides and things like that. Like if you go into a higher, the higher tier of Canon's camera. Um, so that's the 70D. Now, of course, I talked about this a little bit. Well, so the EOS, the T5i, we have two of them. There's another one here. This one has the battery grip on there though. Uh, so uh, we do carry both of them with us on every shoot, just in case of an emergency. Another camera that we use, this is kind of like has been my go-to. I talked about this in my other video. I usually just keep the trigger on here just because I always lose these things. So uh, I kept this one on here. Uh, this is the Canon 6, uh, 6D. This is just one of my favorite cameras, even though it's not the most expensive in our lineup at all. However, though, I just love the reliability. It, it's, you can, it's a get up and go, run a gun kind of uh, equipment. And it says uh, it, it can take a beating. Uh, it, this thing has fallen down so many times. Um, so, and it's still going. So just fine with that. Uh, now, on here, I do have the, again, 6D Mark II. I usually use it for videos like this uh, because it has great autofocus and things like that. Now, going a little bit up in tier uh, will be our Panasonic line, right? So this is one of the uh, kind of camera we use the most. It looks like a smaller camera. I mean, it doesn't look like it, it is a smaller camera, uh, but this is the Panasonic GH4. Uh, we also have a GS5 as well that we use for mainly some light commercial work, music videos, some wedding videos as well, depending on budget of the client, uh, because this does shoot in really um, high bit rate and uh, file size is 4K. So sometimes depending on the work we're doing and the turnover, uh, turnaround time of the work, we don't like to shoot in higher quality, like. 4K and bigger size because it does take a longer time to uh, turn around. So that's that. Um, also, another camera that we use, which uh, Joel is using right now, is the Canon C300. Now that is one of the most expensive camera that we own. The C300 is used for bigger budget, right? We use it for, uh, uh, we pair usually with the Canon 70-200 Mark II. 
lens. That lens alone, it is a $2,000 lens. So we usually like to keep it uh, somewhere safe. When I'm traveling, I always put it in my, in my carry-on bag. I don't check it in or anything like that. So most of my cameras and lenses, I just put in my carry-on. I don't check in at all. Um, so there's that. And we usually pair that with the C300 uh, for bigger shoots and things like that, which I quite love. Now, let's talk a little bit about lenses. Most of our lenses, again, this is kind of like a quick overview of some of the things we use. Most of the things we're, uh, we have in our, in, our, in our arsenal are being used right now by my partner, Joel, on a different, on a commercial shoot. Uh, but again, I talked about this lens already. This lens is kind of like one of our go-to. This is the Sigma. Now, the Sigma series lenses are great, very high quality, well-built, and really sharp. This lens, um, is a uh, crop sensor lens by the way it has uh, for crop sensor cameras but i do use it on a full frame every now and then i just gotta zoom in uh make that work uh, but this is one of the go-to lens we use this normally on the rebel series like a t5i or the 70d4 and the 7d i also have two for a video and things like that um next lens that we use is again the ultimate all-around go-to uh canon lens 24 to 105 this is the L series lens here. So we use that. We have a nifty 50, have a 50 millimeter lens on the Canon 5D, uh, 6D Mark II that I'm recording with right now. So that's part of that. And also we have our pancake lens. I do love, I love this little lens. Uh, this is the Canon 40 millimeter. It's really small F 2.8, great for low light, great for getting a little bit of a uh, wider angle than your normal viewpoint that you get with the 50 mil. Uh, we have that now going over a little bit to a little bit of a gimbal so sometimes we do behind the scenes and we vlog on our cameras because the iphone we all know has great cameras on there so we do a little bit of vlogging on that so i bought a gimbal we have a gimbal in our uh you know what our equipments that we use this is the sky lab uh gimbal for phones any kind of phones really will go on this here so uh, i just have it already stocked in here it has all the uh, equipments and, the, and uh, everything that goes with it here. So um, there's that. And we use it for really behind the scenes and other kind of vlogging cameras and things like that. Uh, now, speaking of gimbal, also I'll grab this here since we're already on the gimbal. Uh, this is one of our go-to gimbal that we use as well. This is the uh, Xeon Crane. This is the Xeon Crane 2. Uh, gimbal that we use for most of our uh, kind of like weddings and things like that because we have to get smooth shots within the crowd so we don't like to take our bigger rolling so we just use the Xeon Crane 2 uh, with that so this is the crane over here this is what the crane looks like kind of mount the camera on here and you have some really stable shots with that um, and speaking of gimbal since we're still on that topic uh, now a big boy that we use for music videos bigger project this thing is it can take quite a big payload um, this is the Ronin M series so we do use the Ronin quite a bit for different shoots and things that I will do a b-roll footage of this here so the Ronin uh, we use that for uh, just bigger projects now we'll talk a little bit about let's go a little bit over lighting um one of the lights we use the most on location especially outside uh because it is a battery powered light and uh it doesn't have to be plugged in or anything like that and it's quite powerful it doesn't have high speed sync but it works we just got to shoot at the right time during the day um this is the newer vision 4 uh this is the vision 4 uh light uh it does have a trigger on here that we use with it and uh, mount it on the camera and we'll use that usually with a soft box now we use that usually with this soft box over here um, that we do especially outside or weddings or anything like that we use this soft box here um, which is pretty good this is oh it's a gold ox it's a gold ox soft box it's really durable um, the only thing about these though is they do they are quite difficult to put up especially with the metal back in here it takes a while it takes a while to put together not like the umbrella style where you can just pop up and go right away so um there's that another one we use also is the photo studio this one usually for indoors for broader a broader shoot or maybe some kind of in studio but this one does need to be plugged in so we don't use it quite a bit outside um 
So this you, this is used the least uh, unless if we're indoors um, and things like that. So now speaking about lighting, though, another one of my favorite lights that I, that we use within the company is the Goldox. This is the Goldox uh, Westro AD360 kit. Comes with a battery power um, on here. This is so punchy. This um, this light usually will overpower the sun when we shoot during the midday. And also, um, it's great to just carry along. It's easy, quick pop up and go um, that we use that a lot. You know, every now and then too, we'll use um, just your normal reflector. Sometimes not every situation calls for a light. We just use a reflector on like a quick run and gun, gonna shoot with that. Now, since we're still on the topic of lighting, we have several flashes. Uh, one of the ones we have is the newer flash that pairs with uh, that other, uh, the, the newer thing I showed you earlier. Um, also have a cheap Walmart flash over here. Um, this one works pretty well too as well. Really not that durable. And of course we have a gold that flash on our light stand back there. Uh, we have maybe about six or seven flashes because those things is very important when we're shooting an event. And if one of them go off, I've seen it too. I've been in a situation where it broke. So we like to carry backup. Um, now as far as lighting, we have several of these. Um, I would say up to either five or six of these. These are great and punchy. When we do do weddings and event at a, at a venue where it's dark inside like a church or something like that or a reception hall, uh, we do put these up, get more lighting on there.